Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to another edition of our Photoshop for Video tip series. And today, I'd like to show you how to take a background plate and take a clip and turn it into a clean still. Now, this is very useful if you need to make a clean plate for use in your chroma key projects. We could take a video clip that's been locked down on a tripod and essentially average the information out to remove people, noise, etc. from the scene. Here's how. In order for this to work, we need to open up some video clips into Photoshop. Now, we're not going to do it the traditional way of dragging a clip onto the Photoshop icon. Rather, we're going to import some individual frames by choosing File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. In choosing this, we can select a particular clip and then specify a number of frames that we'd like to use. So let's go ahead here and open up this first clip and I'll click load. And the clip comes into play and what we have here is a time-lapse shot of a train station. And this is from a collection from Artbeats which makes stock footage. What I'd like to do is specify a range of frames. So I can do that by clicking and dragging. You could hold down the shift key if you want and specify a range of frames. And then you could say to limit it. So I'm only going to import every 10th frame. I do not need to create a frame animation, so I'll uncheck that and click OK. And Photoshop reads those frames in and places each one on an individual layer. You'll see them there. Now I'm going to take a look here and make these layer thumbnails a little bit bigger by going to my palette options and choosing a large thumbnail. And any image thumbnail that just looks not very usable, like these where there's a person clearly in it, I'm going to go ahead and kill some of the most offensive frames. For example, this one here where there's a lot of people blocking the camera. But I just need to get rid of the worst offenders. I don't have to be perfect. There we go. We'll get rid of that one. And at this point, we'll just simply click on the first layer, scroll to the top and hold down the shift key and click on the next layer to select multiple layers in the layers palette. I can then right click and choose to convert these to a smart object. And all the layers get stacked inside of the smart object. Now, Photoshop CS3 Extended offers the ability to analyze these layers and create a new layer based upon the contents. So if we go to the layer and we choose the smart object, I could choose to use a stack mode. And the stack mode here specifies what to do with the information. I'd like to go ahead and find the median of this. Sometimes mean also works well. And in choosing this, it analyzes the frames and blends them together, finding the average between them. And what you'll generally find with the average is that this will remove people or objects that were not in every frame. So what we just got here is a fairly clean background plate. If we'd like to tweak that, we can go to the stack mode by choosing layer, smart objects, stack mode, and we'll try mean. And that did a pretty good job as well. So you can use this as a way to clean up an image. Let's go ahead and try it one more time by choosing file, import, video frames to layers. And I'm going to select a clip that has quite a bit of activity. Let's go ahead and load the clip here. And this is a time lapse shot also from Artbeats with clouds moving through and lots of shadows. I'll go ahead and import this and I'm going to limit it to taking every fifth frame of video. Again, we do not need a frame animation, so we could just click OK. And all the video frames get loaded into a single document. There we go. We'll scroll to the top there, select all the layers, and choose Layer, Smart Objects, Convert to Smart Object. Once the object is grouped, remember, you can go to Smart Objects and choose a stack mode. Mean or Median tends to do the best job. And let's go ahead and pick that. And what it's going to do is average out all the different shots, essentially removing the clouds and the shadows from the scene, creating a much cleaner background plate. So, what you see there is a perfectly clean image that would make a great backdrop if we needed to put this into a chroma key or maybe you just wanted to clean up the frame for use for print. 
By using the stack modes with the smart objects, you can quickly take multiple frames of video and average out the detail to create a new, cleaner image. For Photoshop for Video, I'm Rich Harrington. I invite you to take a look at my resource website, photoshopforvideo.com, as well as the books and DVDs that you'll find there. Thanks again for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this video tip.